it's Steven and I and the dogs this trip. We've got about 10 days straight. And hopefully big old Muley's hitting the dirt here real soon. Came and did some scouting late June. And um, there's quite a few bucks around, so. We'll see what happens. We will see. I feel good about this spot. I've seen four shooter bucks this morning, and two of them are absolute bangers. The only problem is they're burying themselves in these thick aspen patches. So it would be more of like ambush style versus spot and stalk. But they did spend a fair amount of time in the opening this morning, so I think if we see them do that again tomorrow, it might be worth a play. Well, within about three minutes on the glass, he even found the big buck from yesterday morning. He looks like he's in a little better position for me to put him in his bed and stock today. The terrain's a little better, so hopefully I'll be doing that here in the next little bit. I'm gonna get ready to go on a ambush, basically. We watch that crown buck bed and rebed all day chasing shade, so we're gonna hope that they do what they did last night and I'm gonna go get in the top of the clearing that they fed through all evening and uh, hope that one of them steps out. Hopefully be about 50 yards from them, so we'll see. fed too far out of sight for me. Landed right where I wanted to, but they were just too low in the clearing. Couldn't see them. I could hear them a little bit, but that's about it. So I got out of there before the wind switched, and they live to see another day, I guess. But I'm hungry, and I'm very thirsty for a beer, so... switch on us. It's kind of a flatter location so the only other fear is that he beds and faces the wrong way. It's looking looking pretty good. It's like we're bird watching but mule deer instead of birds. <laughs> good one babe. <laughs> How many hours have we been staring at deer all this trip? A lot of hours. Yeah. in the exact same spot but in the shade now so I feel confident he's not going anywhere for at least a few hours and give me some time to get in on him and hopefully when he stands up to get an afternoon snack he gets an arrow to the heart instead but we think he'll stay there for the next few hours at least and let me get in on him so let's do it this is a big guy so <laughs> big target I guess
well, I think it's day eight. As you can tell, I'm looking a little, little unshowered, a little ragged. We've had a rough few days. Um, I got close yesterday, stocked in on a buck. He just didn't give me a shot when he came out of his bed, so that sucked. But we have relocated our big boys from the very first day, Crown and Homie. And they're in the same freaking clearing. Things are looking up. We're running out of time, so I think today I'm gonna be a little more sendy. And maybe hope that this prevailing up canyon wind will work in my favor and try to go on their first bed. So, we'll see. We have a curse of killing bucks on day eight of long trips, so hopefully, hopefully it's true. <laughs> eyes are so tired. It's hard to keep them open. Well, homie put himself in a, in a pretty good spot. So this is the probably most confident we've been in a stock this whole time. So I can get in. If I can get in before he stands up, I'll be able to shoot him when he stands up out of his bed. So. Shot felt good, 25 yards, quartered away, back of the ribs, mid body. So we're gonna go down blood trailing now. I don't even have words right now. Day eight. Man, you were hard to kill, dude. 